Hi, this is Lisa Wadigo from The Critical Classroom and you're watching episode two of The Reading List. In this book, in this episode, I'm going to look at the, a new publication called The Girl from the Great Sandy Desert. It was published this year by um, Magabala Books and the authors are Jukuna Mona Chukuna and Pat Lowe and it was illustrated by Mervyn Street. Apologies if I've messed up the pronunciation of that. Um, so it was published by Magabala Books just this year, so I'm actually pretty lucky to have a copy already. Um, it's a collection of short stories, so you can have a look. The book is, so you have, what's, oh, is it, it's, it's, it's a really great resource, I think. So you have the short story, um, there are a few illustrations, and then there are explanations in the, um, just beside it, explaining things like, um, you know, about different plants or different traditions, um, life in the desert. So the story's actually set, um, the stories are, they're, auto, they're autobiographical, though they're, though they're in the um, third person, um, and they're from western, northwestern Australia in the Kimberley region around Fitzroy Crossing. Um, Jukuna, the, the storyteller, um, over a period of uh, years had developed a relationship with Pat Lowe and together they um, uh, collected stories and so the stories are in standard Australian English um, so they've been I guess they, you could say that they've been translated into standard Australian English and they're in a sort of a more standard um, narrative form rather than the way that they were told originally um, yeah this is a fantastic story it talks about the history of um, that region, I'll show you a map, um, the history of the, that region of Australia and um, the communities and families that eventually um, left their, you know, traditional way of life and then started to move to stations and station work. So, yeah, it's a great story, some classic stuff, because the stories are told from when um, Mona was a young child, and so there's there's this naughty, there's a little naughty kid, um, I think his name is Yinti, who, um, uh, Uncle Yinti, who uh, is a little bad fella, and, yeah, you know, and things like, um, uh, you know, being bitten by a dog and body scars and, and that kind of body scarring and, you know, what happens when you've got no water. Um, yeah, it's a great, it's a really good book and I think that it lends itself to classroom use because they're actually quite short stories. Um, they're only a few pages long and then they have the, the those other explanations about different aspects of life. So there you go. Uh, the Girl from the Great Sandy Desert by Magabala Books, just published this year. And um, yeah, I highly recommend it. See you next time. Cheers.